Hi folks, glad to have you on my channel, thank you for watching. Today, we'll be looking into screen mirroring. You can mirror iPhone to Chromecast for many purposes. For instance, some games are actually pretty great when played and streamed to TV. Not to mention, you can also use Chromecast to view photos and other media. This video will present several ways in which it can be done. While there's no native feature to mirror iPhone screen to Chromecast, this function can be accomplished with the help of apps. So I'm going to recommend a few of these and describe my experience with them. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and comment if any questions arise. Ducast is, without doubt, the leader of this list. This is an iPhone to Chromecast screen mirroring, video and photo streaming app. Essentially, this means that Ducast is compatible with all Chromecast-capable TVs, like Sony and Philips. There are three subscription plans, monthly, yearly, and lifetime. Both yearly and lifetime subscriptions include a gift, but what kind? It's a mystery. Let's see what this app can do. Get Ducast on the App Store. Open it up and enable some permissions. Ensure that the iPhone and the Chromecast are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Choose Chromecast from the list once it appears. This window suggests that we subscribe to one of these plans. But we'll close it. Let's try the app out first. We'll choose mirroring on the main screen. Push screen. Up next, the menu where you can choose mirroring quality. Surprising to see in a free version. Usually, you can't try it out unless you purchase the app. This is very nice. There are some sound controls and a way to switch screen orientation. Now, press start mirroring and then start broadcast. Your iPhone screen will be mirrored to the TV. Note that a free mirroring session lasts 15 minutes. Mirroring quality is great, the image is clear, delays are minimal. Auto rotation also works. To stop mirroring, you should tap on Dynamic Island or the red bar at the top of your screen, then click the stop button. Here's another alternative solution. Replica is simplicity itself, and that's the main draw of this app. The interface is polished, it's completely intuitive. It's compatible with different DLNA and AirPlay devices in addition to iPhone screen mirroring to Chromecast. This is how you can start using Replica. Get Replica from the App Store. Launch and grant the required permissions. Choose your plan. We'll go with the free plan, but keep in mind that it includes ads. Your Chromecast device should appear in the list. Select it. Tap screen mirroring, since that's what we're trying to do. Ignore the premium ad and click the X once it shows up. Push start broadcast, and you're done. Voila! Now your iPhone is on the TV screen, feel free to do whatever you need. I'd like to note that premium is basically required to enjoy replica, since the free version also restricts video quality and disables sound. There's a free trial, so you can decide if it suits you. And up next is the aptly named Screen Mirror Smart Viewcast app. It has similar free version restrictions, with sound mirroring and high quality selection only being possible in the premium version. But this probably won't be a problem if you view photos, or don't care about in-game audio. Get Smart Viewcast. It's available from the store. Make sure that your Chromecast is connected to the same network as your iPhone. Launch the app. Grant the required permissions. For demonstration purposes, we'll go with the free version. Tap Start Mirroring. Press Cast and choose your Chromecast. A pop-up should show up on your iPhone. Choose Start Broadcast in the pop-up. The mirroring session should begin. See? This app is also quite easy to use. Although, Ducast is still my favorite. Since both apps have free versions, I suggest trying both out, so you can determine which one is better. That's about it. Thanks for dropping by, and I hope that my video helped you choose a solution. Please like the video if you've enjoyed watching, and subscribe for more tech advice. See you next time.